All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be talking about is the World of Wonders Taken Over event. We're not going to go through all the details of the event, as there is a video down below. I will leave it in the description. However, we are going to go through the bonuses of the event and then go over the best counters for the two Pokemon that I've made, like, highlight in the event. But let's go over the bonuses first and what is coming out with this event. So you do have the debut of Shadow Groudon. Now Shadow Groudon is probably going to be the best ground type Pokemon in the game, just behind Primal, potentially. Then you've got the debut of Shiny Sandile in the wild, which, or from Eggs, which is really good. Then you've got Shadow Mewtwo in Shadow Raids at the weekend. Um, then you've got new Shadow Pokemon in the forms of Pidgey, Darumaka, Gothita, and Solosis. Now, if you do see Darumaka, that is going to be a huge one, um, but we'll go over that in a different video. Um, you'll have Team Rocky appearing more frequently from Balloons and Pokestops, and then you can f uh, TM the Frustration move away from your Shadow Pokemon. So, let's start off with Shadow Mewtwo. Now, Shadow Mewtwo is powerful. I don't know if these stats are changed. I can't remember if they do it. Let's just check it out. No, they don't. So these stats aren't changed, so you're looking at 20% added onto this and 20% removed from this. So you are looking at 360 attack, and then you're looking at around 150 defense. Now, Shadow Mewtwo was the most powerful Pokemon in the game until Mega Rayquaza did um, get released at the Hoenn event. And let's go over the best counters, as it has been increased since the last time this Pokemon came out. So... Number one top in this list is Mega Tyranitar with the moveset of Bite and Brutal Swing. Um, this was not the top counter a few, um, I think it was a few months ago, because Brutal Swing wasn't on Tyranitar yet. It was Hydreigon being the best Pokemon. Obviously, then Mega Gyarados came out, which overtook Hydreigon with Bite and Crunch. And now we've got Mega Tyranitar with Bite and Brutal Swing, and then just behind it, Shadow Tyranitar with Bite and Brutal Swing, and then just normal Tyranitar with Bite and Brutal Swing. Now, I, well, recently we did have the classic combo for Tyranitar, so everyone should have at least a good Tyranitar, and if you missed that one, you might have done the Dino combo for Bite and Brutal Swing for Hydreigon. They are all good counters, they are not too far apart in damage, I believe. So you're looking at 27 DPS for Hydreigon and 26 for Tyranitar. It's just how long they survive for in battle that changes. So if you do have Hydreigon or Tyranitar, you are looking good for this fight. Um, plus, obviously, having Mega Tyranitar is a huge increase in damage. Um, 4.0 you're looking at which is massive however shadow tyrannosaur apparently does a hell of a lot more damage but does get killed faster um and like i said mewtwo is is still one of the best pokemon in the game so try and get yourself a few good ones as they are good in pvp as well and um, you will most likely have to t uh, elite tm the move side strike and shadow ball onto them um, just to make them more viable and yes, they do have a shiny out as well for Shadow Mewtwo. So if you do get one of them, even better. Now, moving on to Primal Groudon or Shadow Groudon. Sorry. Um, this is a bit of a mix-up. I don't know how accurate this one is. Um, because it's saying the best counter for this Pokemon is Mega Rayquaza. Now... Normally, that is correct in the law of Pokemon because Rayquaza stops the primals, basically. Um, but for me, I would ignore this one, this uh, number one, which is Mega Rayquaza, and I would focus on Primal Kyogre and Kyogre and Shadow Kyogre as your mons you want to be taking in, just because um, it has recently come out, um, like in a raid day. So you have the perfect amount of moves. The only thing you won't have is Origin Pulse on Primal Kyogre, which you can Elite TM on if you wanted to. Now remember, Primal Kyogre does count as your Mega, so you do not need to Mega a different Pokemon. And then you can go in with some Shadows. So you've got Shadow Swampert with the moves Water Gun and Hydro Cannon. 
Shadow Kyogre with Waterfall and Surf rather than Origin Pulse, which is a bit weird. I think that's because you probably would get killed before Origin Pulse, maybe. But then you do have other Pokemon like um, Shadow Empoleon with Waterfall and Hydro Cannon, Shadow for Alligator with Water Gun and Hydro Cannon. And then the rest of the water Pokemon are like down here. You've got Normal Kyogre with Waterfall and Origin Pulse. Shadow Gyarados with Waterfall and Aqua Tail. So you do have a lot of good water types around uh, Primal Kyogre. But I would, like I said, I would stick with Primal Kyogre as your main. And then going in with some just normal Kyogres. With the move Waterfall and Origin Pulse, I don't know why Surf is there. Um, I'm guessing for the normal Kyogres, it's Origin Pulse. I think we did just go over that. Yeah. So for me, I'd be taking in uh, Kyogres for this fight. As it is quad, isn't it? No, it's not primal yet, so it is only ground. So it's just a normal 160 damage, isn't it, from water? Yeah. So I'd be taking in water. If you don't have um, some really good water, say you missed out on the raid day and stuff, you can take Mega Sceptile and then use some grass types like Cortana and Shadow Sceptile, things like that, to boost your party for that. But... Most people will have a good Primal Kyogre and Kyogre set from the raid days. Um, other than that, that's kind of it. I don't think we've got too much happening during the event. Obviously, we do have uh, Shiny Sandile coming. We have Shadow Darumaka. Um, looking at the raids, you look, you've got Shadow Hitmontop, Shadow Sneasel. That might be an okay one for your Ice-type counters for Rayquaza in the future. Um, and Salamance in the future. And then in the wild, you do have Zorua, Dino, and Vullaby. Dino's a big one, obviously, with Mewtwo coming out. And then in eggs, you do have Larvitar, Sandile, Pornyard, Vullaby, Dino, Panchim, Salandit, and Verum. The only one I'd be looking for, really, is Sandile in that, because you do want to try and get the new shiny. And it looks like it is only available from eggs, which sucks. But that's not a problem. By the way, if you have seen this timed research in the shop, I think it's £2. I don't think it's worth it, personally. Um, special research, that's normally free, um, so you should be okay with that. But the paid time research, this, to get all these components, and then Pornyard, Super Incubator, and Rocket Radar, that is not worth £2. Definitely, definitely, definitely do not do this. Um, especially if you look here, you get an encounter with Pornyard. But then from the free time research, from guessing it's this one, you do get one anyway. So do not spend £2 on this. Leave it, push it before. Like I always say, if it isn't worth the ticketed event, put it towards GoFest. Because you will need loads of raid passes for that. You will need eggs, incubators, things like that. So definitely keep that money and put it towards that. Um, and that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like down below. Comment if you are going to be doing this event and going after Groudon and Shadow Mewtwo. And do remember that Groudon does last for a few months. So if you do miss this event, you can still get it. And um, you just won't be able to TM frustration off. And then Shadow Mewtwo will come back at some point. But this is the second time it's done it in, I'd say, I think it's six or seven months. So it might be away for quite a while after this. So definitely try and get yourself a good one. Um, and like I said, if you do subscribe to the channel, please, if you are new, as we are trying to hit 1,000 by the end of the year, and all your support does help, and I'll speak to you all in the next one.